Hello, hello, good morning, good morning, this is Big Unk, yeah, this is Big Unk, Wednesday morning, around 10, 15 a.m. in the good state of Georgia, yes, I uh, just want to say, hey, how you doing, uh, fixing to get my day started, it's my last day of my, my vacation, so uh, just want to see how my people doing out there. Um, also, you know, if you want to get in with me and talk, uh, hit that subscribe button down at the bottom. Should be on your right hand side, probably on my left hand side. But anyway, just hit the subscribe button and um, get back with me. But this big on, uh, like I say, uh, this is a um, another day. Give you guys a very quick, short Bible lesson, uh, very quick, short Bible lesson. Like I said, I'm starting from the book of Genesis. So I'm fixing to get started right quick. Don't like to prolong any time and talk to you. Uh, just going to get straight to the point. So just um, yesterday I read uh, Genesis chapter 1 verses 1 through 7. Gave y'all a brief summary of uh, God is the creator of all things. So this particular time here, I'm going to be reading out of uh, the same book, the book of Genesis. And I'm going to be going to verses 8 to eight through 14. So here we go. Let me read it to you right quick. Remember, uh, just so you know, this is what I'm reading out of. The Holy Bible, Masonic Version, the Master Mason Edition right here. But I'm still, um, still had the same thing the King James Version had. <coughs> just so you know. All right. So uh, let's, let's begin. Let's begin. And it says that, and God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called he seas. And God saw that it was good, and God said, let the earth bring forth grass, herb yielding seed and the fruit tree yielding fruit after its kind whose seed is in itself upon the earth and it was so and God and the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself after his kind and God saw that it was good and the evening and the morning were the third day and God said let there be lights and the firmament of heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seas and for days and for years. So basically what I got out of um, basically what I got out of 8 through 14 is that every everything that God created the evening and the morning became another day which means that it took him a certain amount of days to create certain things in the earth and on the earth but it looks like and it appears though when you start reading it when he say um, and God called the firmament heaven and the evening and the morning were the second day so right when he divided it he called the firmament heaven and the evening and the morning was the second day it was the second day so um, and God said let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place and let the dry land appear and it was so and God called the dry land earth which is soil which is the same dirt that we walk on that we came from he called the earth and the gathering together of the seas of the waters called the seas and God saw that it was good so God even called the gathering together of the waters he called seas so and God said let the earth bring forth grass herb yielding seed and the fruit tree leaf and and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind whose whose seed in itself upon the earth and it was so and and the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself and it was after his kind and God saw that it was good and the evening and the morning became the third day so after every creation that God did, a day got moved over 
got moved over again. So, and it said that, and God saw, and God said, let there be lights in the firmament of heaven to divide the day from the night. And let there be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. So right about that, that should let you know that God created all the signs, the season, the days, the years, the lights, the lesser lights. And uh, that's how we determine winter, spring, summer, fall, things of that nature. So again, just keeping on the creation of God, that everything that's created and done, God has created it. So I just want to, you know, touch on that with you guys, let you guys know to have a wonderful day. Uh, that's the end of the Bible study. I'm fixing to get my day started. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to have a good day. Like I said, this is the last of my uh, vacation. So, I'm going to be um, just kind of relaxing the day and get, you know, hanging out a minute. Then, get back in because I don't go back to work till tomorrow night. So, I, I still practically got two days. Um, so, just have a good day. God bless you. Remember, I love you. Uh, just... Stay away from these haters, this negative energy that's around you. Uh, stay in tune. Get that day started. Push, drive, pray. Focus on what you need to focus on and nobody else. And uh, hit me up. Big up. Keeping it real. One love. And God is the creator, which means he has control and dominion over everything. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.